It took just a week for FIFA to unravel. A corruption scandal exploded, top officials were arrested, new criminal investigations were launched, and Sepp Blatter was re-elected president and resigned days later. So how did we get to this point? Things came to a head when U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch announced an investigation into FIFA that alleges decades of bribery totaling more than $150 million. Fourteen people are charged with racketeering. Seven were arrested at a hotel in Zurich where FIFA officials had gathered for its annual congress. The U.S. believes South Africa paid a $10 million bribe in exchange for support for its 2010 World Cup bid from former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner and other members of CONCACAF. Mr. Warner denies the accusations. South African officials said the money was an above-board payment to help soccer development in the Caribbean region. On the same day, Swiss authorities seized documents from FIFA offices as part of a separate criminal investigation into Russia and Qatar's bids. Uh, no, the, the president is not involved. Of course he is the head of FIFA, but he's not involved in any... So uh, how can you, can, you, can you say, OK, he has to uh, whatsoever uh, step down? Here's the president, here's the president, here's the president, and in two days there are elections. If two days later, Blatter was elected to a fifth term as president. I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. But we will do a good job together, I'm sure. So uh, I thank you so much. I thank you for the trust and confidence. Trust and confidence. Together we go. Let's go, FIFA. Let's go, FIFA. Thank you. Four days later, he announced his resignation. This mandate does not seem to be supported by everybody in the world of football. FIFA needs a profound restructuring. U.S. prosecutors unsealed a transcript of a 2013 federal court hearing in which former FIFA executive committee member Chuck Blazer pleaded guilty to racketeering and other corruption charges. Among other things, I agreed with other persons in or around 1992 to facilitate the acceptance of a bribe in conjunction with the selection of the host nation for the 1998 World Cup. France won the election over Morocco. I and others on the FIFA Executive Committee agreed to accept bribes in conjunction with the selection of South Africa as the host nation for the 2010 World Cup. Meanwhile in Johannesburg... The South African government and the local organizing committee has not paid any bribe to anyone to secure the rights to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Those remarks came before the Blazer transcript was released in New York. Jack Warner, who officials say controlled the fund the South African bribe was sent through, appeared on TV in Trinidad that night, claiming he will release evidence of FIFA corruption. The deal with my knowledge of financial transactions at FIFA, including, but not limited, to its president, Mr. Sepp Blatter. And lastly, other matters involving the nation's current prime minister. Neither the prime minister's office in Trinidad and Tobago nor the country's embassy in London could be reached for comment. So what's next? It's still unclear. I will continue to exercise my function as president of FIFA until the new elections are going to be held. As for the seven men arrested in Zurich, they have until next Monday to appeal detention. The next deadline in the Swiss extradition process is July 3rd. So if the U.S. is in a hurry, it must submit its formal request by then.